Our weather for the weekend is looking okay. There still is a good chance for some afternoon showers and storms to develop for Saturday and also into Sunday. Here's a look at Super Doppler 10 and the forecast for your weekend. We have a couple of afternoon thunderstorms developing for Saturday. That's at 2 p.m. So we could see a little bit of rain across our area. I don't expect severe weather, but Saturday afternoon, evening, there's a chance for some storms. Same thing on Sunday. Dry in the morning, a couple of showers and storms develop in the afternoon. Temperatures this weekend will be in the 80s. Humidity still pretty high. It's summertime, but we won't see highs in the 90s this weekend. Now, if we can get a little clear in Sunday night, you might be able to see See the Perseid meteor shower at peaks on that night. Around 20 to 30 meteors per hour is possible to see under dark rural skies in the city. You might see a couple of meteors flying by in the sky, but you won't see 20 to 30 an hour. That's usually uncommon. That's safe for the darker skies. Outer Banks, if you're going to the beach this weekend, rip current threat is medium. Waves are two to three feet. Water temperatures really cold at the beach. Water temperatures as of the latest uh, number are at 63 degrees for the ocean front. It's warmer at the peninsula. It's so cold at the ocean front is because of upwelling. So that's what's been happening with the strong southerly wind, thanks to the remnants of Debbie moving through. A storm may develop next week in the Atlantic, and when they're near Africa, that's where the big ones form. So we're going to be watching that closely. By Wednesday, that storm does develop near Puerto Rico, and that would have the name Ernesto. Here's your seven-day. Highs will be in the 80s for the next seven days with a little rain here or there.